Hello, and welcome to training number five of your onboarding with Arizona's Children Association. We are dedicated to protecting children, empowering youth, and strengthening families. Today, you will be attending a workshop and simulation training for recognizing and reporting child abuse and neglect. But first, here is a short video of topics you will be introduced to. As a in-home case manager, you will be one of the most important members on a child's team because you will be the first to see signs of abuse and neglect. A phrase you will hear throughout this training is, when in doubt, report. The purpose of today's training is to stress the importance of recognizing and reporting abuse and neglect. At times, you may be fearful to make a report. Thoughts may arise such as, what if I'm wrong or will the family be mad at me if I make a report? Remember, as a mandated reporter, you must always report abuse and neglect. And when in doubt, report. Next, you will hear from a teacher and her experience after not reporting suspected abuse. When I was a really young teacher when I first moved to Santa Barbara and I was 21 and um, there was a young girl who came to school with bruises and you know and I never really asked even though I suspected something was going on. It haunts me to this day because 15 years later, 20 years later when she was a young woman she killed somebody and I knew that part of that was what was going on when she was in the third grade when I taught her. At that time, there was nothing. There, were, there was not mandated reporting. It's such an important key. If I had had the tools, if I had had somebody telling me, this is what you look for, and this is how you report, and it's not a big scary thing to do this, I would have been right there for that little girl. Types of abuse include physical, emotional, and sexual. Other abusive treatments include neglect, abandonment, and financial exploitation. The workshop will break down each of these abusive types in detail. There are many physical and non-physical signs of abuse and neglect you will learn in the workshop, but listed here are the more common ones reported by other case managers within the organization. Physical signs include marks or redness on body, bruises, broken or fractured bones, burns or scalds, bite marks, self-harming or cutting, unusual discharges, pain or discomfort in any body part, especially genitals. Non-physical signs include depression, fear or avoidance of a certain adult or place, difficulty trusting others or making friends, sudden changes in eating or sleeping patterns, bedwetting, nightmares, inappropriate sexual behavior, or poor hygiene. Remember, when in doubt, report. Now let's hear from another teacher about warning signs that she refers to as red flags. Some of the red flags I've seen over the years is either aggression towards their friends, aggression towards myself, um, acting out within group situations where I hadn't seen that before. Also, um, when children withdraw, that's always a red flag for me because little children don't withdraw. Little children want to be part of everything. Once you suspect abuse or neglect, it's time to make a report. Remember, when in doubt, report. There are two steps to reporting. Step one, in most cases, you will call in your report to the Arizona Department of Child Safety. On some occasions, if the child is not in immediate danger, you may complete an online report through your Guardian Dynamic 365 portal. If you use this option, be sure the concern is not listed as needing an emergency response under the revised statute. You will cover more of this in the workshop. Step two, once your DCS report is complete, immediately fill out the organization's internal incident report. This needs to be submitted to your supervisor within 24 hours of making any DCS report. Now let's reflect on what you've learned so far. You were introduced to the topic of recognizing and reporting abuse and neglect. 
we covered the fact that as an in-home case manager, you are a mandated reporter and whenever in doubt, report. We briefly covered the different types of abuse and neglect, as well as identified the physical and non-physical signs of abuse most common to our agency. And we covered the two steps involved in making a report. As always, your feedback helps us greatly to better this course for future employees. You will receive a survey via your company email within 24 hours. Remember, you are here to make a difference and we are here to support you 100%. Before you begin the workshop, let's hear some final words from the teachers we met earlier. Kids need safe adults. Even if they're not gonna say something, you can see minute changes and sort of wonder what's that red flag? What is that that's coming up? And uh, you know, maybe it's not a big thing. Maybe parents just need some support in their households, which is common. But um, you know, we, we need important adults in, in our kids' lives. It's our job as teachers to be mandated reporters. That's We sign a contract that says that. Um, it's never easy to make a report. Lots of times we have a relationship with the families, and, but we never want to see a child hurt, and our job is really to make sure that the children are safe and successful. At COM, we wish that child abuse didn't exist, but sadly, it does. And those of us that are mandated reporters can really help a child by reporting any suspicion of abuse. It really makes a difference in a child's life and be the path toward healing and a safe and happy life for them. On behalf of Arizona's Children Association, I would like to thank you and enjoy your workshop.